So you can actually set the homepage for each one of your staff. So if you just search for the word homepage, you can choose what the homepage is. So you go to this homepage setting and you set it to homepage is always the URL set below and then you can set the homepage. So you can do that for your team. This is another good one. You can enforce that the bookmarks bar is always visible. So it always shows up. You can stop people. basically any setting in Chrome, you can customize. So you can, yeah, you can pretty much change even down to themes. I think you can pretty much change anything that you want to change inside of Chrome. So have a bit of a dig in there, try not to break anything, but lots of, lots of stuff that you can do. Now, one of my favorites is actually enforcing apps. And so it used to be here, you need to go to a different page now, but if you just search apps, you can enforce apps and extensions. So if you just search apps and then go to the apps and extensions page, make sure you save before you do that. If you've you know added any bookmarks or anything. And if you wanna get directly to the apps and extensions page, you go devices, Chrome, apps and extensions, and then users and browsers. And you can see here that we can choose different apps to share and force upon our team. So let me uh, make that page a little bit bigger there. So what are some of the apps that we force install for our team? Well, we definitely want everyone to have last pass on their computer. And again, this is part of user onboarding. If you've got someone, they've just started with your company, you want them to be onboarded correctly. The only thing they need to do is sign into their account and sign into their Chrome browser and then boom, they've automatically got LastPass available for their account. If you're using Dialpad, our cloud-based phone system, you can automatically deploy Dialpad down to their account. If you want Asana to be there, you can automatically deploy Asana down to their account. If you wanna add something like uh, Adblock to automatically block your team from getting, you know, like ads on websites and YouTube ads and all that kind of stuff, you can block that using Adblock and just roll that down. If you want a Clipboard History Pro, oh my God, if you're not already using this, this is amazing. I won't open my clipboard there, just in case it's got pass, it's probably got passwords and Bitcoin addresses and stuff like that in there, but that will keep the last hundred or so things that you've cut and pasted. My God, that is the best Chrome add-on I've ever found because you know if you've cut and pasted more than one thing and you lose the second thing that you cut and pasted, this basically keeps a history of it. So that's amazing and amazing to roll down to your team as well. They'll love you for that. So Clipboard History Pro is what that one is called. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.